you're joining a motorway from a slip road. How should you deal with traffic already on the motorway? Carry on along the hard shoulder until you see a safe gap. Stop at the end of the slip road and look for a safe gap. Use the slip road to accelerate until you're moving much faster than the motorway traffic. Match your speed to traffic in the left-hand lane and filter into a safe gap. Which vehicles should use the left-hand lane on a three-lane motorway? Any vehicle that isn't overtaking. Large vehicles only. Emergency vehicles only. Slow vehicles only. Your vehicle broke down on the hard shoulder of a motorway, but has now been repaired. How should you rejoin a main carriageway? Move out onto the carriageway, then build up your speed. Move out onto the carriageway using your hazard warning lights. Gain speed on the hard shoulder before moving out onto the carriageway. Wait on the hard shoulder until someone flashes their headlights at you. What will the speed limit usually be where you can see street lights but no speed limit signs? 30 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. You're approaching a busy junction. What should you do when, at the last moment, you realize you're in the wrong lane? Continue in that lane. Force your way into the lane you need. Stop until the area has cleared. Use arm signals to help you change lane. What's the purpose of triangular shaped signs? To give warnings. To give information. To give orders. To give directions. Which sign means the end of a dual carriage way? What does a red traffic light mean? You should stop unless turning left. Stop, if you're able to brake safely. You must stop and wait behind the stop line. Proceed with care. Where would you find these flashing red light signals? Pelican crossings. Motorway exits. Zebra crossings. Level crossings. What's a cover note? A document issued before you receive your driving license. A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. A document issued before you receive your registration document. A document issued before you receive your MO certificate. Why should these road markings be kept clear? To allow children to be dropped off at school. To allow teachers to park. To allow children to be picked up after school. To allow children to see and be seen when they're crossing the road. What color are the reflective studs along the left-hand edge of the motorway? Green. Amber. Red. White.
What should you do if the red lights start flashing as you approach a level crossing? Go over it quickly. Go over it carefully. Stop before the barrier. Switch on your hazard warning lights. You're on a three-lane motorway. Which lane are you in if there are red reflective studs on your left and white ones to your right? In the right-hand lane. In the middle lane. On the hard shoulder. In the left-hand lane. You're traveling along a residential street. There are parked vehicles on the left-hand side. Why should you keep your speed down? so that oncoming traffic can see you more clearly. You may set off car alarms. There may be delivery lorries on the street. Children may run out from between the vehicles. You're traveling at the legal speed limit. What should you do if the vehicle behind approaches quickly, flashing its headlights? Accelerate to make a gap behind you. Touch the brakes sharply to show your brake lights. Maintain your speed to prevent the vehicle from overtaking. Allow the vehicle to overtake. What should you do when you're approaching roadworks on a motorway? Speed up to clear the area quickly. Always use the hard shoulder. Obey the speed limit. Stay very close to the vehicle in front. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? Stop and take a break. Shout abusive language. Gesture to them with your hand. Follow them, flashing your headlights. What should you do when you're approaching a bus that's signaling to move away from a bus stop? Get past before it moves. Allow it to pull away, if it's safe to do so. Flash your headlights as you approach. Signal left and wave the bus on. Which vehicles are least likely to be affected by side wind? Cyclists. Motorcyclists. High-sided vehicles. Cars. is poor. The footpath is narrow. The curbs are high. The view is restricted. Which type of vehicle should you be ready to give way to as you approach this bridge? Bicycles. Buses. Motorcycles. Cars. How would age affect an older person's driving ability? They won't be able to obtain car insurance. They'll need glasses to read road signs. They'll take longer to react to hazards. They won't signal at junctions. Why do motorcyclists often look round over their right shoulder just before turning right? To listen for traffic behind them. Motorcycles don't have mirrors. It helps them balance as they turn. To check for traffic in their blind area.
which is the most vulnerable road user. Car driver. Tractor driver. Lorry driver. Motorcyclist. You're approaching a mini roundabout. What should you do if a long vehicle in front signals left but positions over to the right? Sound your horn. Overtake on the left. Follow the same course as the lorry. Keep well back. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To get the best view of the road ahead. To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. You're following a large vehicle as it approaches a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals to turn left? Overtake if you can leave plenty of room. Overtake if there are no oncoming vehicles. Wait for the driver to cancel his signal. Wait for the vehicle to finish turning. What should you do immediately after joining a motorway? Try to overtake. Readjust your mirrors. Position your vehicle in the center lane. Stay in the left-hand lane. How should you use the lanes on a motorway? Use the lane that is the least traffic. Keep to the left-hand lane unless you're overtaking. Overtake using the lane that's clearest. Stay in one lane until you reach your exit. You're in a built-up area at night and the road is well lit. Why should you use dipped headlights? So that you can see further along the road. So that you can go at a much faster speed. So that you can switch to main beam quickly. So that you can be easily seen by others. What does it mean if you see the signal on the motorway? Leave the motorway at the next exit. All vehicles use the hard shoulder. Sharp bend to the left ahead. Stop, all lanes ahead closed. Why should you test your brakes after this hazard? You'll be on a slippery road. Your brakes will be wet. You'll be going down a long hill. You'll have just crossed a long bridge. What can you expect if you drive using rapid acceleration and heavy braking? Reduced pollution. Increased fuel consumption. Reduced exhaust emissions. Increased road safety. What should you do when you're approaching this crossing? Prepare to slow down and stop. Stop and wave the pedestrians across. Speed up and pass by quickly. Continue unless the pedestrians step out. You're on a smart motorway. What does it mean if a red cross is showing above the hard shoulder and mandatory speed limits above all other lanes? 
The hard shoulder can be used as a rest area if you feel tired. The hard shoulder is for emergency or breakdown news only. The hard shoulder can be used as a normal running lane. The hard shoulder has a speed limit of 50 miles per hour. This junction, controlled by traffic lights, has a marked area between two stop lines. What's this for? To allow taxis to position in front of other traffic. To allow people with disabilities to cross the road. To allow cyclists and pedestrians to cross the road together. To allow cyclists to position in front of other traffic. An injured person has been placed in the recovery position. They're unconscious but breathing normally. What else should be done? Press firmly between their shoulders. Place their arms by their side. Give them a hot sweet drink. Check their airway remains open. What do you need before you can legally use a motor vehicle on the road? An appropriate driving license. Breakdown cover. Proof of your identity. A vehicle handbook. Which document may the police ask you to produce after you've been involved in a collision? Your vehicle registration document. Your driving license. Your theory test certificate. Your vehicle service record. A collision has just happened. An injured person is lying in a busy road. What's the first thing you should do? Treat the person for shock. Warn other traffic. Place them in the recovery position. Make sure the injured person is kept warm. What's the meaning of this sign? No entry. Waiting restrictions. National speed limit. School crossing patrol. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? Turn left at the next junction. Pull up on the left. Stop immediately. Move over to the left. You're turning right at the crossroads. An oncoming driver is also turning right. What's the advantage of turning behind the oncoming vehicle? You'll have a clearer view of any approaching traffic. You'll use less fuel because you can stay in a higher gear. You'll have more time to turn. You'll be able to turn without stopping. How can you plan your route before starting a long journey? Check your vehicle handbook. Ask your local garage. Use a route planner on the internet. Consult a travel agent.
which road users benefit from Toucan crossings? Car drivers and motorcyclists. Cyclists and pedestrians. Bus and lorry drivers. Tram and train drivers. What should you do when you're overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? Pass closely. Pass very slowly. Pass widely. Pass immediately. What do the yellow lines along the edge of the road mean? They are rumble strips. They mark the edge of the road. Pedestrians shouldn't cross where there are yellow lines. No waiting. 